17th of September, administration announced. Breaking news from Derby County. The club has announced in a statement that it's intending to appoint administrators. Now, this was, uh, for fans, the worst possible outcome. Under EFL rules, there's an automatic 12-point penalty that would be applied to the club. It's a tragic position. Angry, upset, relieved. No, Mel, it's your fault. You're the one who spent silly money on, on players not getting your money back. You took a massive gamble and it's backfired. Well, I'm going to try and not cry. I haven't slept. I thought I woke up in the middle of the night thinking, have I just had a nightmare? Unfortunately, it, it wasn't true. It, it is the truth. I'm heartbroken. I think my upset's turned to anger. The people you feel sorry for are the, the fans who uh, go week in, week out. They've had this so many times. Well, I saw it yesterday and I just thought, well, why? And just the players we've had over the past, what, five years? It's amazing how they've just gone through like nothing. Mel Morris seems to be in denial that it's his fault. I'm just hoping that we've still got a club to cheer in the next couple of years. And we're talking about deduction of points and all that, but I'm going to have to be honest, from a supporter point of view and the supporters here coming to watch this game, I shouldn't use the word shafted, but the supporters have felt let down once again. 19th of September, Mel speaks. You know, COVID had taken £20 million out of our revenue. Now, people might say, it's not about COVID. It's absolutely about COVID. Gut-wrenching. Difficult, difficult decision. Difficult, one of the most difficult ones I've ever had to make in my life. And, uh, you know, it, it, was it one take lightly? No, no, not at all. Was it one take and I think is is probably in the best interest long term of the club? Very probably. I think I made a fatal mistake that, that transcends all the other things that from the moment that I announced that I was prepared to effectively let the club go, right, for no return to me, that left no room for negotiation. It meant that people would just sit back and sit back and sit back and wait for the opportune time. Is that the biggest mistake you've made in your business career? No, I, I think it certainly was. I mean, I, this, you know, I've been, been in business a long time and I've seen some some pretty hairy mistakes. I've tried not to make the same ones many times over, but this one was a this was one done in, in the interest of the club to try and say, look, it's not about me. It's about getting a buyer for the club. It's not about me getting money back in my pocket. It's about getting someone in the club who can take it forward. 23rd of September, Rooney responds. Well, I think it was, was it on your your radio station on Sunday. It was. So I think if you take that interview and repeat it, exactly what he said on the radio, is exactly what he, how he addressed the players and staff. In my opinion, it wasn't sincere. It wasn't heartfelt enough and it wasn't done with enough honesty, in, in my opinion. But he's obviously... Um, moved on and um, we have to move on and put um, Mel Morris to the back of our minds and move on and look forward. 23rd of September, meet Quantuma. We do consider, um, firstly, obviously a club of this magnitude is such that it does have a viable future moving forward. No one's <coughs> underestimating the task ahead of ourselves because clearly um, there will need to be some difficult decisions being made over the coming uh week or two in terms of um, whether we sadly need to consider the need to be any um, efficiencies made during that period but there is a considerable degree and I really do stress the word considerable degree of interest in this club. 25th of October Hello Chris. An American businessman has expressed an interest in buying Derby County. Chris Kirchner wrote an open letter to fans last night. Chris Coles was presenting Sports Scene Talking as the news broke. Dear Derby County supporters which is a good start. We don't know each other yet but we have two things in common. Our love for the game of football and our desire to rebuild Derby County back into the proud club everyone deserves. My name is Chris Kirchner and I hope to see many of you soon as this is my official announcement of my intention to work with the administrators to take Derby County Football Club out of administration. 16th of November, points deduction. BBC Radio Derby. Update. The English Football League has docked another nine points from Derby County. Christmas Eve, 
Goodbye, Chris. One of the front runners to take over Derby County has ruled himself out of being the next owner. Jonathan Baker has more. American businessman Chris Kirchner tweeted, it's with real sadness he's withdrawing from the process to buy the club. He's been frustrated by what he calls the little to no progress that's been made with administrators. Kirchner says he presented an ambitious, long-term, sustainable business plan two weeks ago, which included buying Pride Park. That offer was further improved yesterday, according to Kirchner. But administrators Quantuma announced a preferred bidder would not be declared before Christmas, as was the plan, which prompted this withdrawal. Kirchner has apologised to the fans and expressed deep regret the deal couldn't happen. 30th of January, the march. The response we've had from people from different countries has been, has been crazy. Like you, People we've never heard of um, have joined in. I think this just symbolises that it's not just a football club, it is a city. This club is massive and it's not just in England. And it's, it means so much to so many people. It's been people, it's been power and it's been passion. I think it's been a great turnout from everyone. It's definitely a lot of people. The stadium sold out and I think it shows how much it means to everyone. It's crazy. I think the situation is just awful and when you have a bad situation like that, everyone pulls together. Fantastic atmosphere and, you know, looking back, such a tremendous crowd. Really, really great. They're coming in numbers. The march is stretching back almost a kilometre, I'd suggest. There are lots of people and they are here to cheer on the club that they love so much. It's been a momentous morning. Emotion is the word, I think, isn't it? It's, Come on, it's, it's difficult not to feel it. Absolutely. It's, there's been a huge build up to this day. It's been a roller coaster <laughs> of a few years as a Derby fan. So, actually, today it's nice to be able to do something uh, proactive. An amazing atmosphere. And I think it shows everybody that's involved in this dispute that actually Derby cares. 11th of February. Middlesbrough solved. I think the fans will be pleasantly surprised by the speed that things will move at now. 6th of April. Hello, Chris. Again. We interrupt Roy Wood. How rude. Local boy Roy Wood. Because we have some breaking news and the man to break that news is our very own Ed Dawes. Good morning, Ed. Good morning, Twiggy. Let's apologise to Roy Wood at a later date, shall we? I have a statement from the Joint Administrators of Derby County Football Club, Quantuma, and it reads as follows. Following a rigorous and well-documented marketing process, the Joint Administrators of Derby County Football Club have accepted an offer from Chris Kirchner to acquire Derby County Football Club out of administration. This follows receipt of his recent bid for the club. The bid is for the purchase of the football club only with the terms of the club's ongoing occupation of Pride Park Stadium to be negotiated with external stakeholders. 18th of April, goodbye championship. That is time. And... Reading have scored. Reading have equalised. And Derby County are relegated to the third tier for the third time in history. But it's not because they're not good enough, Paul. It's not because they haven't given 100%. It's not because they haven't tried their hardest. There are people to blame who the Derby fans trusted as custodians. They're not on the pitch, Ed. The the people to blame aren't on the pitch. They're not. The Derby fans trusted these people as custodians of their football club, and they let them down. They made decisions that let them down. 17th of May, it's official. The American businessman Chris Kirchner says he will be the new owner of Derby County. In a tweet late last night, he said he had exchanged contracts with the club's administrators, Quantuma, and would begin funding the club next week. 13th of June, goodbye Chris, again. We do have some breaking at Derby County news. Yeah, the breaking news is that American Chris Kirchner has withdrawn his offer to acquire Derby County Football Club. And of course, uh, he on the 17th of May stated he will be the next owner of the Rams and has since then been unable to provide the proof that he can do and uh, delivering the funds into the UK and satisfying the administrators. Uh, So obviously he's missed deadline after deadline after deadline. And then today... He has withdrawn from the process. 24th of June. Hello, David. In the last hour, Derby County's administrators have confirmed local businessman David Klaus has issued an interim loan to the club. 
It means the Rams will be able to start the new season and continue to trade. They've also confirmed he's bought Pry Park Stadium and discussions will continue over the next day or so. 24th of June, goodbye Wayne. Breaking news in the last few moments, Colin. Well, this morning it was all about David Clowes and him moving Derby County forward. Uh, to become the next owner. However, Derby County have issued a statement literally in the last few moments, and this is a bit of a shock. Wayne Rooney has today informed Derby County Football Club he wishes to be relieved of his duties as first team manager with immediate effect. Simple point. The first one is thank you very much to Wayne Rooney. Uh, He obviously knew quite a while ago that he wasn't going to stay around for League One, but I think he's added value to the negotiating string. Well, I actually think it's two fantastic bits of news today, Colin. After the trauma of the last two years of this football club, I'm glad to see that we are going to go into this season with a completely fresh start. 26th of June, preferred bidder. Derby County's administrators are hopeful David Clough's takeover of the club will be completed on Wednesday. Everybody feels like this is the start of a new dawn for Derby, and I think... Yeah, all the supporters out there, uh, uh, and I include myself in that, you know, I think we'll be looking forward for the first time in a long time uh, with a great deal of optimism. A very good afternoon. It is BBC Radio Derby. It is Friday, July the 1st. Stick that date in your head because you're going to want to remember that date. Breaking Derby County News, joined in the studio by Chris Coles. Chris, don't, don't tell me. Is oh, it? my word. It's finally happened, Donna. Oh, my gosh. Unbelievable. The day that I think many thought would never, ever come. But it has arrived. Derby County saved. The takeover has been completed. 